So why have we gathered in this holy place today? This holy place? Yes, the podcasting room. Ah, the podcasting room. Yes. Church. The, the place where the good thoughts and good deeds are done. Done or forgotten? It depending. So what have you prepared for us today? Oh, prepared. Uh, it's a continuation of our last topic, which was about motherboard design. Ah, okay. So you're I'm, going to bitch about, uh, sorry, uh, wine about the uh, <laughs> processing and 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 uh, laptops. Yes. Actually, uh, let me guess. Uh, one connection is not important, not enough for you. No. So any laptop with a single connector is not enough for you. No. Okay. Which mean which means most laptops laptops. Are okay, uh, episode over. That's it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I actually had a discussion with a col- colleague of ours. He was like, "Why do you need ports, man?" ports are not necessary ports are luxury and you are being against the let's say green methodology i'm going to start with the, with one that is bothering me why and i mean why uh, haven't we uh, all accepted that uh, magnetic connectors i'm not going to call any names but magnetic connectors for laptops are a good thing and why haven't we standardized them i know that the main reason is because some producers are being greedy mm-hmm. uh, especially the the fruity fruity part <laughs> but the uh, I think that the connectors that I'm looking for would be standardized uh, and I mean the connector size the connector type and the connector power should be standardized all across mm-hmm. the all across the board so that I can get any any laptop that I have uh, connected to any uh, power adapter that I have without doing anything else than just plugging it in Okay. I know that power delivery for the USB-C is trying to do this, but as I said, the fruity uh, fruity uh, company is not uh, playing game with this. So we'll see what's playing going to ball, happen. Playing ball, you mean? Mm, not playing ball, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Actually, I have a couple of pretty straightforward reasons why I want to moan, as you said, about some stuff related to laptops. And I think they're pretty straightforward and let's have a discussion about them. Uh, we're going to go to uh, some generations of examples of laptops. Fruity company is going to be amongst uh, them as well. Okay. Uh, we're going to discuss some general principles and the way in which laptop design actually went backwards. I think we're going to agree on that, whatever uh, type of troll trollism you try to implement on me. And after that, uh, we're going to have, let's say, a little bit of a discussion why this is important for every customer, not just you or me or people working in certain I don't know, parts of the market or whatnot. Okay. So with that being said, our first example that we are going to be discussing is a very, very old and very, uh, let's say, dear to my heart laptop that I used to have uh, back in the days when we were still in the IT editor slash journalistic industry. Okay. So actually one of my first Macs. Uh, I had a Power Mac. Okay. Uh, in a laptop form which I bought because, uh, as, as I'm sure you remember, back in the day, we used to use Quark Express and uh, InDesign, which is m- much more popular nowadays, as well for uh, creating of the creation process of the computer magazine. And we had a lot of authors, and we only had one Mac that was uh, used for editing stuff that's already inside the, let's say, future magazine uh, uh, documents and it was only usable after hours so uh, i went insane and berserk and asked uh, a friend to give me a yeah aforementioned laptop but that's less important what's important is the way in which that laptop and a couple of uh, generations after that laptop were, uh, were designed i just want to point out a few things uh joking aside uh back way in the yonder when we were younger let's say 20 years ago if you wanted to do any desktop publishing or uh, any uh, editing of basically ma- on any magazine, anything that was printed media, mm-hmm. you did it on the Mac. Yes. Because uh, the um, the range of software that was available for the PC and the capabilities of the software available on the PC and on Windows were basically 
I would call it basic, but they were less than basic. So, uh, so everything in Mac uh, on on Mac was integrated. Everything worked with uh, applications worked with one another. Mm-hmm. So you were able to uh, link the objects and then uh, do the editing in one, op- one application, then link it to the an- another. Uh, link the changes and everything else. So correct. This is even more important because this was back then when Max actually had a purpose. They were purpose purpose built, and uh, from the connectors that I uh, now, I must say with great nostalgia, I'm looking at them. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a laptop that is built uh, for somebody to actually work on. Actually, so, this is uh, both the Power Mac and the first generation of the Intel-based Macs. It was basically the same design. And I'm not go- going to moan too much about the expandability this time, because I do understand that in the limited space, blah, blah, blah. That's yes, but okay. we are talking about connectivity, not Connectivity here, uh, for, for from my standpoint, I'm very sorry that the express card type of idea isn't uh, yes. available it, anymore. Yes. And in terms of additional expandability, you can still use on the modern laptops, at least some of them, which is uh, our future topic today. Uh, you can use Thunderbolt and, uh, and uh, docks and uh, external cases and whatnot to do some expansion, but we're gonna get to that a little bit later. What I like about this specific design, uh, and I'm going to strictly consider it from the point of time, okay? At that particular time, uh, this is, uh, let's say 2000, to 2003 time frame or something like that. You had a MagSafe port, which uh, mysteriously disappeared later on some MacBooks, which yes. you commented on. We had three USB ports. Nowadays you have zero. You have all the audio connectors in the world that you wanted. Yes. Both of them, not just one of them in a combined fashion. You had express card slot for expandability, which is not available anymore on any of the laptops that I know of. You had Firewire, even two ports, uh, the network port, which nowadays is almost non-existent on most laptops. And at that particular point in time, uh, the DVI was the standard, HDMI wasn't really something that was popular. Yes, Um, I would call this, okay, uh, it's a bit of an overkill, Mm -hmm. but uh, losing the express card has had its idea because they wanted to switch over to USB. Mm-hmm. So the idea was to have the USB uh, ad- adapt to everything, but I still miss the Express cards. Me too. Because they had a much uh, higher bandwidth. This is the first thing. And the second thing is that uh, they um, enabled different uh, kind of uh, modularity. Yes. Because you had, you had space inside the laptop mm-hmm. that would be able to hold the electronics so you didn't have to have a huge break or uh, any brick uh, connected to USB. Mm-hmm. So it was much easier to uh, take along uh, different adapters in the inside your laptop and use them. I had and still have, I have RMEs, uh, you know, the sound card yes. manufacturer. I have a card from them that connects to external card, uh, eSATA, USB 2, USB 3, Firewire, uh, and many of these cards still in one of the, one of the drawers in my desk uh, back in, in my uh, office. And I still have at least one laptop, which coincidentally we're going to talk about later today, that can, that is able to use it. But further to the point, actually, if we are talking about Express Card and the previous standard prior to that, PCMCIA, yes, uh, I used to have a laptop that had two ports for that. That was very common design back then. Yes, because they were expecting that the expandability is going to come uh, from the uh, outside cards. Because nobody was actually expe- uh, expecting you to uh, take uh, m- to have with you uh, a couple of USB uh, adapters, couple of USB hubs, then couple of USB devices, and so on and so on. Mm-hmm. Because nobody expected you to be uh, basically uh, like a carrier of, a, of additional a, a carrier, devices a, that you need to so that you can hook up some stuff. I would just call it carry of the cables. Yeah. Because uh, mostly today, what you need to uh, carry with your uh, your laptop is uh, the power cable, the HDMI cable, the USB cable, the USB hub, the USB mouse, and you are suddenly uh, basically overwhelmed with the number of cables that you have to carry. Correct. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's talk about the next one. So already the uh, the next uh, uh, laptop that was uh, made right after this one, the Unibody version. 
this is 2010 2011 you can see that one thing is missing which uh, goes with the times which is uh, basically no ex actually express card is here you still have everything it's a little bit different uh, differently organized it's uh, the firewall port is now on the left hand side of the laptop it used to be on, on the right hand side uh, uh, so you still have gigabit Ethernet cards. You still have, uh, uh, for one of the versions, it was USB. Later on, it was Thunderbolt 1 and 2, etc., which is very useful. And actually, we also see the appearance of the SD, SD card, card reader, slot yes. reader, which I would argue is one of the essential things to have on modern day in Apple laptops, at least, if not on all of them. I think it's uh, it should be on all the laptops because uh, everybody has some device that is able to write the cards mm -hmm. and you should be able to read those cards uh, regardless if you have the reader or not. This is the one thing. And mm -hmm. the other thing that I want to mention is uh, what I hate about almost all the laps, laptops on the market today is that they are not using the back side of the laptop. So all the connectors on the left or the right. Uh, I like know, yeah. Yes, I know that one of the reasons is because you need to uh, have the place for the hinges for the screen. Mm -hmm. But I would pretty much like uh, my, let's call them big connectors. So uh, Ethernet connector, uh, my uh, display device connector, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, consume a lot of space. Yes, okay. they consume a lot of space and they have uh, pretty thick wires. Mm -hmm. So I want something that's not flexible. I want it to be connected from the backside because I want to be able to move my hands around the laptop. And actually to that point, ergonomically speaking, if you have external mouse, this is one of the most common problems. You yes. have the mouse with the, with the cable and some other cable is in the way. You cannot work properly and you want to you know, put your fist through the laptop. Yes, and the other thing is that uh, as soon as you have the USB connectors on either on the right or the left side, mm -hmm. if you are right-handed, uh, they're going to mess with your uh, mouse. If you're on the, uh, on the left, they're going to get uh, dragged along something is going to uh, uh, push them out so it's much easier to have a single usb port on the back side and use it if you need to plug in this disk or something so this is the connectivity part mm -hmm. i don't mind but let me also mention one more thing about the express card mm -hmm. uh, all the laptops today are modular okay uh, and so basically everything is on a modular card the modems are on it the wireless cards are on it some of the discs are modular cards i'm quite surprised that those modules are not uh expendable from the outside me too because they actually exist inside the laptop itself yeah so you have the capability of upgrading your laptop from i don't know uh, 4G to 5G, mm -hmm. by exchanging a modem. Wireless. You can upgrade the wireless to wireless X or uh, to AX uh, standard, so wireless uh, six, and it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. You uh, from most of the laptops that I work with, it's it could be simply the uh, uh, procedure of just opening one uh, cover and then uh, exchanging the uh, the modem or exchanging whatever. Yeah, it's, it's a so, small module. Yes, it's a small module that is okay the connector to the antennas is a problem it is it is breakable yes but connectors can be uh changed so you can use another connector yeah okay it's, it's not it's not a complicated problem or a showstopper to invent a new connector for the antennas we have been doing this for the last whatever years mm -hmm. i would like to uh, like to argue one more thing here because this is not visible in the picture but it, it is something that i'm very intimately uh, familiar with because uh, for the jump from this version of the laptop to this version of the laptop indicated or also meant one more big significant change in the laptop design which was the integrated battery yeah, ah, okay uh, i i could basically be be swayed in both directions like it or not like it but my firm belief is that batteries need to be replaceable and easily replaceable not in the way in which we do it today with our laptops opening everything up, losing your warranty, blah, blah, blah. I had the this uh, version, of, I actually still have one of these laptops and I have one of these. Uh, because of the fact that this one has replaceable batteries, I bought a couple of extras, they're easily replaceable. For this one, uh, I get the bulge battery version, you know, yes, it okay. grew in size, etc. I had to change it and it uh, broke the, uh, the touchpad. Yes, on the computer yes, as well. yes. Unfortunately, it was it was sandwiched between the unibody design and the touchpad itself. So my my let's say friendly uh, professional thing that I would really like to have on the laptops is I would like to have the capability to easily swap the battery, which goes along with some other things that a lot of people might require or not. But it's a different discussion. 
But then the other thing about the bad battery is uh, I would like for every manufacturer of the laptops to just embrace the thing that uh, l uh, lithium ion batteries are going to uh, grow mm -hmm. or they're going to bulge, mm -hmm. as you said. So basically what is going to happen is that every laptop that isn't designed with that in mind is going to break down something uh, is going to break down because something is going to get shattered. Mm -hmm. So uh, every manufacturer should be at least aware of this and just cover uh, the part where the battery is with some cover that is easily uh, popped open mm -hmm. by the battery itself just in order to save the laptop because it doesn't make sense for me to um, have a battery uh, breakdown inevitably it is going to happen yes and then the battery uh, completely uh, breaking down the rest of the laptop for no reason at all uh, i would argue actually one more thing and this is just so that i'm uh, open-minded and fair about this i had altogether five or six six laptops by apple okay okay it was only in the Uni unibody one where the, the battery grew in size and generally speaking their batteries from my professional standpoint are by far the best on the market never had a problem with them i have five six years old laptops mac pros all of them working still perfectly charging to 100 percent almost as day one okay i would i would i would call it uh, basically the same because as you know i'm the thinkpad guy so i, I don't have any other laptops other than thinkpad mm -hmm. i was using an hp uh for a long 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 time mm -hmm. and i must say that uh the reason why i stopped using hp was because i grew tired of it basically it was working for six or seven years it was a impeccable laptop but uh i haven't seen laptop as good later from the from the hp so i just switched over to thinkpads because my first laptop was a thinkpad yeah mine too but i would argue that uh lenovo's or thinkpads nowadays as well were always a just a little bit better designed than the than the hps yes 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 completely because uh it's not a religious opinion that's my professional no opinion. they just did a uh, few things that made them different because uh back back way then when they did design one of the things that uh, they made sure is that if you're picking up your laptop however uh, however uh, bulky and big it is uh, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be able to break it if you pick it up by uh, any single part of the laptop mm -hmm. so if you pick it up uh, by three fingers or two fingers there isn't a place on the laptop that is going to um, uh, not withstand the pressure of one finger uh, picking up the laptop mm -hmm. and this is not something that all the laptops have correct because uh, for some of the laptops uh, if you pick them up by the screen you are going to break the screen yeah it took me this screen is broken a little yeah, bit that's not it yes but it took me i actually had to step on the laptop this took all my weight and then it just broke uh, one centimeter on the right peri hand, peri right peri peri right screen corner, yeah. it uh, the screen has not broken the digital still works and this is a what six or seven years old laptop mm -hmm. so i'm completely fine with this because this has withstood basically 100 test of time times two yes 100 kilos of, uh, of a person uh, stepping on it yeah okay Let's now move to the next generation because this is where things are going to start to change significantly. There we go. I have one of these actually still uh, with two Thunderbolt 2 ports. And uh, there are a couple of reasons why I like this generation of laptops and why I really dislike them. Likey, uh, or the, on the plus side, it has HDMI, which yes. is with the, let's say, going with the times. It still has at least two USB ports. Okay. Excellent. It has the SD reader. Excellent. It has two Thunderbolt ports. I would argue that it would be better if they're on the opposite sides, uh, design-wise, uh, so for usability reasons. The power part is the standard, uh, standard yes, okay. uh, Apple Mac design. Mac connected, yes. All of that is cool, but still, uh, now we also lost the battery indicator. I don't like that. I'm just uh, as a regular user okay uh battery indication is a good thing it should be up in your face because you're going to forget about it otherwise mm -hmm. uh, some of the laptops that have the battery indicators on the battery itself on the back uh, you just forget that there is a battery indicator there mm -hmm. so it should be uh, somewhere on the upper surface of the laptop mm -hmm. and i must say that i'm missing a battery indicator uh, somewhere in the vicinity of the keyboard uh, I would argue that that would be a very good design idea. Yes, Be because one of the biggest 
and the most important things that you need to know about your laptop is how uh, charged is your battery right now. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. you want to be able to uh, test it and having the battery indicator on the side makes it possible to test it uh, while the laptop is being uh, is, is closed. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go with, uh, yes, I do miss this, but I think that this arrangement of uh, connectivity is probably the most useful one. I would uh, actually argue that this is a balanced design yes, as yes, well yes. in terms of when it was uh, when it was made. It still had a wink wink to the older technology, USB. Uh, the wink wink to a new technology, Thunderbolt 2. It still had uh, all of the necessary stuff like HDMI and SD. And I, I'm perfectly happy using this laptop, albeit with the lack of battery indicator, which I can survive. Yes, but but HDMI is the deal breaker for me because right now HDMI is the uh, standard to, uh, for connecting everything uh, uh, because DisplayPort is not so used on the, it's not used at all, but basically on the TVs. Mm-hmm. And if you want to connect to a monitor, almost all the monitors have the HDMI. So right now, HDMI is the standard to use. And mm-hmm. uh, having a standard HDMI means that you are basically able to use any TV and any monitor out there, even without uh, having your cable with you. Uh, so it doesn't have express card slot, of course, yes. which we already noticed. And uh, I have one of these laptops actually here in the office and I wouldn't part with it for anything in the world because A, it's perfect, B, it's balanced design, C, works perfectly, and D, battery, uh, albeit almost eight years old laptop, is still yes. perfect. Yes, but the, you can see from the name that they have switched to uh, pointing out that it has a new screen. Yes. Because uh, Retina screen uh, from this generation was actually pretty good. It was excellent. It was it was pretty good. There were better, better screens, but not in this price range. So it was an excellent Windows laptop. Agreed. That's a good good show. <laughs> yes. I, I actually did run Windows on it. And I, will, it I, will, really I, will, well. I will just uh, state that I think that Apple still, still makes uh, excellent laptops. But the lack of uh, Windows comp- compatibility right now is the thing that is bothering people. Uh, I would argue that f- almost from the inception of the uh, uh, of the combination of Intel and uh, Apple, they had the best Windows laptops on the market. Yes, 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 yes. When they when they became the Intel based uh, architecture or Intel based uh, platform platform basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think they were the and still are the best uh, Windows based laptop uh, that you can buy if you are buying the laptop that is capable of running Windows. Yeah. Right now with the M2, one M2, you well, are maybe able there to... will be Windows for that as well. You never know. I I saw that uh, as a side note, uh, Microsoft has introduced the Volterra, yeah, uh, pro- Project Volterra uh, ARM, and people. I'm trying s- to get that, but it's difficult to get it. Yes, uh, me, me too. Uh, we should organize uh, together and try to find to find the Volterra. But the idea is that uh, from what I heard and from what I see on the and on Twitter and in the um, development uh, let's open circuits, uh, people have been using the Volterra or the ARM for uh, day-to-day drivers for the last year or so, mm-hmm. and everybody seems to be uh, quite happy. They are say that it's not as quick as the uh, Apple's, mm-hmm. so they're li- running the, their own version of the ARM oh, processor. Chip, yeah. But uh, the everybody uh, has been saying that this is the thing to have uh, if you need to develop something on Windows. Mm-hmm. So when developers who are basically more or less directly connected to Microsoft mm-hmm. tell that they, that you need an ARM uh, desktop to be able to develop on Windows. This means that there is a huge um, undertaking to move everything they can to ARM as soon as possible. Okay, let's move to the next one. This is now the basically the latest generation of, uh, let's say, uh, Intel-based, now specifically Intel-based laptop. Okay. Uh, we now switched to what I want to take a shotgun to and, and you know, put uh, some bullets through it. I have one of these, of course. And uh, using it, the directly related to the to the things that you said earlier is a an exercise in futility of carrying around a gazillion of different ty- types of adapters. It I'm doesn't have to, HDMI. I'm going to say that uh, every time I see a shot like this of product shot like this, mm-hmm. uh, I know a few things. First they are not emphasizing the connectivity. They are emphasizing the idea of having a slim screen. 
And design, yes. Yes. The second thing is that I immediately hate the keyboard. I do as well. Yes, because the keyboard is going to be extremely uh, slim. Uh, slim. The uh, travel travel uh, is going to be very going small. To, uh, the, the travel of the keys is going to be small, and it is going to be more or less like typing on glass. Mm -hmm. So, why then don't just put another iPad in the in the body and uh, get, hmm. uh, get be, be done with it? Mm -hmm. So I can have one as an input device and the other as the output device, device. Yes. as a screen or something. Yeah, I get it. So um, I have one or two actually of these laptops, one of the older generations and one of the, la the latest generation i9 version of this. I mean, they do work perfectly, but I have to lug around a Thunderbolt hub for everything that I do, which pisses me off to no end. Yes, because they have become and just another thing that is connected to the cloud all the time. <laughs> uh, and actually, because of the fact that I have some Thunderbolt 2 devices that I'm still using, I'm also lugging around some adapters for that too. Actually, I have one of them in the studio and on the desk. And I have one is... more gripe uh, with uh, with Apple, not not the, on the laptop side, but they had a pretty nice ecosystem uh, growing around the uh, different devices they were using in the desktop. Mm -hmm. So they had the good desktops, they had pretty decent uh, smaller works, uh, smaller workstations, so uh, the minis and so on. But for some reason or the other, they gave up on, they basically gave up on uh, storage and they gave up on the servers. Mm -hmm. So X server is dead, yes. Yes, X server is dead. Uh, time capsule does it exist anymore i think so as well yes yes but it exists it is not pushed uh, uh, pushed as In a solution marketing, yeah okay and if i want to create a decent environment i need some some place to create uh, i would say rudimentary uh, directory mm -hmm. i don't expect to be able to use the active directory but right now using active directory with max is much more uh much easier achievable than uh, trying to uh, do any other kind of uh, single sign-on environment for the devices in the Apple world. Okay. So I'm lacking this uh, integration part that uh, Apple used to have, mm -hmm. and now there is basically none. Okay, moving on to the next one. Uh, now we are talking about M1. Okay. So you can see a lot less ports. Uh, okay, somebody is going to argue that it's a much cheaper laptop, but still, this is almost unusable from a laptop perspective, which you need to connect to, I don't know, a, a projector or something like that. Yes, but uh, at this point in time, they have achieved the iPad with the uh, keyboard uh, level. Yeah, that's quite possible. But, so, actually, but uh, you're going to see on the next picture is that uh, because of partially, probably because of the pressure of the public, they did change the design somewhat. So this is the uh, M1 generation, not the uh, the Air or something small okay. like that. This is actually an M1, like Pro or Max version, uh, 14 and 16 inch laptop. So okay. we have the return of the Mac safe, okay. which is good. We have now three Thunderbolt uh, ports, Thunderbolt 4 ports, instead of four, because one was sacrificed for HDMI, and we have the return of SD reader. I would say that this is directly because of the, you know, yelling and screaming of the users. Yes, the SD reader was a uh, direct, uh, direct uh, result of people uh, actually objecting. And I think that the HDMI is the thing that everybody agreed that you actually need the HDMI port. I would argue that in their design, which we can discuss uh, in some other episode, I would say that their uh, design of the, of the M1 chip could sustain the fact that they have two Thunderbolt 4 ports and HDMI, but they decided against it. Basically, a one a TB4 port was sacrificed for HDMI. Okay. Which I can live with, but I dislike. On M2, we have basically the same thing. The, the lower part is the 13 inch and the upper part is the 14 inch. Uh, the, the top one is actually M1. The, the lower part is uh, M2, but it's 13 inch. So we have the same design queue as on the previous pictures. For the smaller one, we have two Thunderbolt ports. One of them is most commonly going to be used for powering it via adapter, or, or somebody's going to lug around in, with a small laptop, a Thunderbolt 4 dock, which I don't think they will. And at least we do have a, uh, let's say, analog connector, the connector. connector for, the, uh, for the headphones, which I think should be on every laptop, by the, not, not by choice, it should be there by law. 
Yes, because the the device that you are pointing basically right now at uh, mm -hmm. is intended to be an expensive typewriter. Uh, I am surprised that they even have a connector uh, at all. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the reason why it has a connector for the headphones is just because people who need to write need usually uh, listen to the music. Correct. So uh, this is something that is basically a typewriter. It is cheap. It has, uh, once you plug it in, it, you are left with one connector only mm -hmm. because there is no way for you, for you to plug anything else other, uh, other than the, um, you, you, can, you can plug the power connector and then that's it. There is no pass through for the power connector, which would be nice. Mm -hmm. I would be paying for a power brick that serves as a hub for different devices. You could buy devices like that, but they're super expensive. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. But uh, power delivery USB-C uh, with the USB hub integrated would be nice, mm -hmm. but this is not USB-C. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Yes. So, so with that, we conclude the first part uh, of our discussion, which is about Apple laptops. We can draw a conclusion. We went from, let's say, having overgrown ecosystem of ports in the uh, initial part to uh, the oldest devices. Then we moved uh, slightly over time, little by little, we moved to almost no ports at all. Uh, I do not like that. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that I don't have a battery uh, meter. I don't have the capability to change the battery. And uh, f uh, for the most part, I really dislike the fact that there is no standard USB port on any of the laptops. This is, from my standpoint, it's almost unusable. Anything to add? No, let's go to the XPS, the yes. laptop that everybody wanted to have, but nobody had. Yeah, I had actually two. This is the first one, M1330. I bought this in 2007 and 2008. I don't remember when it was. This is the first laptop that I bought after I started my own company. And this was also the first laptop that I ever used SSD in. Because that's the year when, uh, 2007, 2008, that's the year when uh, the SSDs became a little bit less of a commodity and a little bit more of a standard thing that we have in our okay. laptops. They were still heavy, heavily expensive. This is a 13-inch laptop. Yes, I know. I had okay. one of those. But it has VGA. It has 100 gigabit Ethernet. Later versions had gigabit. Gigabit, okay. USB, HDMI. Actually, if I zoom in a little bit here, you're going to recognize that as well. So this is uh, this is the uh, PCMCI slash Express card extension. Yes. Uh, then here, this is the uh, this is a, a remote control. Okay. That you could use to, let's say, volume up, volume down. Yes. It has USB and it has an optical drive. All that in one 13-inch laptop. And also it has some active keys here and um, uh, actually on uh, on one of the sides here, you can see it lower below the remote. Yes. You have two keys for stuff like turning on and turning off your wireless. Yes, it in was the physical. It, yes, it was it was popular uh, back in the day because the people basically wanted to a way to um, announce to the world that they, are, they have turned off the Wi-Fi mm -hmm. because they had a problem with uh, different areas where the Wi-Fi was prohibited. Mm -hmm. So you, but there was a lot of laptops that had the physical keys, uh, to turn off, to the physical switches to turn off the Wi-Fi. Yeah. And uh, the, from the front port, uh, front part, so this is yes. here, you have two uh, headphone connectors, uh, a, a microphone connector, and of course the SD card Reader. meets MMC and uh, memory stick reader yes which that's the way in which the laptop should be designed i don't care what the size of the laptop is okay the, basically this laptop is uh, obsolete proof to the fact that you can make a very good uh, laptop in terms of, of design and connectivity even in small space okay okay so now let's move to some other versions of this so oh, again we are going through the timeline the next version of this so let me just go a little bit backwards uh, for some reason, this uh, crazy program doesn't want to go forward, but yeah. So the next version of this is in 2015, same laptop. So uh, so it's uh, XPS 13. Yes, they, they use the same name and the same designation. Basically, the model number changed. Yes. Yes. Thunderbolt. Okay. Good. USB. Good. Super speed, so USB free. Uh, headphone connector. Good battery indicator and I have the uh, version of this laptop from 2018 it has a battery indicator as the reader USB on the other side as well so all of this is good 
There okay. are a couple of problems with these laptops and with this version as well. The first and major problem is the fact that this Thunderbolt connector breaks a lot. Okay. I have a lot of problems with this connector uh, in this laptop, which shouldn't happen for a laptop that costs roughly 3000 let's say, two or $300. It's, yes, basically, basically it was uh, as expensive or more expensive than the MacBooks. comparable MacBooks. Yeah, yes. it's MacBook comparable in terms yes. of pricing. The second thing, and I cannot stress this hard enough because I've seen hundreds of posts on it, uh, the XPS 14s have a lot of problems with batteries. Okay. I changed the one. Actually, uh, this one came uh, when I bought it. It already had a problem with the battery. And uh, I bought a new one last year around December. The new one works well. What used to happen is if you put the, the, the laptop, uh, so if you disconnect it from the power, and if you start playing with the power uh, power settings, so let's say you put it into balanced mode or something, and if you touch the battery indicator on the side, because there is a key that can show you the status of the battery, okay. all of a sudden your battery will drop to 15% from 100 in two seconds. Okay. This is some kind of a battery, let's say controller problem or something, which a lot of, uh, a lot of those have problem with. Uh, I have a colleague that has one of those and he changed the motherboard three times. Well. Okay, I have I have one of those scary stories uh, with Lenovo, but uh, we'll let's continue. keep it for the Lenovo yes, part. Yes, okay. yes. So the next one, this is the new version that came out a couple of years later, and if I zoom it in, what's mess, what's lacking? What do you don't see anymore? Basically everything. The optical part is missing. Uh, HDMI is missing. My my biggest gripe is the HDMI part. Yes, that but uh, as, as as I said, uh, as soon as you see the side shot of the product. Mm -hmm. We are. I mean, this version doesn't have HDMI as well. Yes, Just... but uh, these shots that you uh, cropped uh, are not the side shots. Mm -hmm. They are the usage shots. The, when you see the side shot, uh, usually what you're going to see is the how incredibly thin the laptop is. Yeah. And you are not going to see any connectors. And now we move to the next version of this, which is from 2018, which is the laptop that I have here right now. Okay. Uh, ma automatically, it has SD card reader and it has HDMI. Yes, because uh, fortunately Dell is still listening to people who are buying the laptops. Yes. Not not completely, but they are doing it. I would still argue that this keyboard is way better than any of the MacBook keyboards of the past five years. But I think that uh, when you compare the keyboards, uh, Apple is not even in the top five. Anymore. It uh, used to be. It used to be in the top three. Yeah. But I think that uh, both ThinkPads and the Dells uh, had better keyboards than the Apple. Agreed. Yes, because uh, ThinkPads usually had the most space because they were the thickest of the lot, but uh, they were they had good, good keyboards. Yes. Uh, let me just mention one more thing. Uh, XPS was available available as in Project Sputnik mm -hmm. uh, as a Linux uh, laptop, mm -hmm. and it had enormously, not enormously, it had good um, compatibility with everything Linux based. Yes. Up until the point when uh, Dell gave up. So yeah. right now they have a workstation and they have laptops, but they are not called anymore. Uh, they are called XPSs, but they are not introduced. Uh, they're not being introduced as the Linux workstations. Okay. They're just laptops. Yeah. Next version, uh, we're going to go to 2022, 2023. So this is the latest. Yes, and I know. It has, of course, you know, the Thunderbolts and power delivery and another Thunderbolt and SD, which is completely reminiscent of what we were discussing with, uh, with the apples and all the bad things from the apples as well. Uh, but this actually makes it worse because this is the current model, which doesn't have HDMI. Uh, I'm going to call, just call this, uh, incredibly, uh, short sighted. No, I would call this shot, uh, this publicity mm -hmm. shot, uh, as incredibly uh, useless uh, piece of information because first, the screenshot for the screen is obviously photoshopped in, mm -hmm. and uh, it looks completely alien to the laptop itself. Yes. And the other thing is that uh, it is missing the point. You okay? You want as good as a screen as you can get. But uh, this, go, uh, this is an OLED screen, actually. Yes, yes, no, but this, the screen is amazing. This, is, this, is, this isn't uh, the way to market th that. Th th this window to market that. This looks like somebody put up a, a basically wallpaper over the screen and said, okay, this is a screen. Mm -hmm. uh, and the second thing is that uh, I think that the keyboard uh, is getting worse. Yeah, I agree. It's becoming slimmer. Yes. And yes. Which translates to worse. Yes, but I 
see no point. We have come to a point where uh, people are trying to make a pass, uh, laptop slimmer and slimmer. I see where this comes from because mm -hmm. we used to have uh, five, six kilos laptops. Um, let, let's call it three and a half kilos laptops was normal. Uh, having a laptop that was uh, four or five centimeters uh, high was um, normal. I still have one of the old uh, old uh, Toshiba Cosmios, which were six kilos and yeah. plus two kilos okay, of the brick. Okay, but but uh, they used to be like this. Mm -hmm. uh, mainstream laptops were were okay. Let's call them three and a half, three and three point three kilos uh, in weight. They were three or four centimeters high, and this was okay. This was big. Mm -hmm. But right now, when you when we have come uh, to the point of let's say let's call it twelve uh, millimeters, thirty millimeters, so half an inch basically, mm -hmm. uh, I think that there is no point in trying to make the laptop slimmer. Correct. By, there is no place to go. Yes, but there is place to go. But then you are losing. Then you are losing. Uh, you losing functions that you need There's because none of those laptops has uh, connectivity for the network. Correct. That's uh, th this, that's this my big... that's my second biggest. Oh, let's say okay. This is my first problem. None of these laptops have Ethernet, and the yes. second problem, uh, you don't have as much experience with them as I do. I've been running this for four or five years. The the speakers on this laptop ain't worth. <clears throat> okay, but then you can connect your uh, your headphones, and that's it. Yes. Where? On the right side, probably. No. What is the connector on the right side? Uh, oh, it's the power. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. <laughs> you see my point? Actually, no, no, that, that was my point. Version, I was, I was, yeah, I was trolling. I was trolling. Version, yeah. <laughs> this version does have a uh, headphone connector, which works really well. Biggest, biggest thing I think I want to say is that uh, this laptop has turned into a typing machine, but this typing machine is not good. Uh, Agreed. Because if you want a typing machine, you want to have something that is cheaper than this because this is expensive as hell yeah 3500 bucks or something yes you want something that has a great keyboard this doesn't have a great keyboard yes you want some sort of connectivity for the for the headphones okay bluetooth probably yeah that's doable yes and you want to have uh some way of connectivity because sometimes i want to download things fast does your laptop have uh ax uh, protocol and uh, wi-fi 6 no so you are limited to what 800 uh megabits per second me megabits. yeah it's old yeah. so it's it's not a gigabit no and sometimes you actually need wired gigabit because you need sometimes it. i yes. need it always yes and that's the reason why i constantly steal and or borrow from people like you some of the usb adapters and that's also the reason why i bought four of them a couple yes, of months I, ago as, a, as a yes I, bu I bought three of them so yes yes i bought anchor ones because this was just killing me always uh, for the exams and stuff okay okay so uh to conclude uh, dell went even worse they're not uh, with the latest generations they're not listening at all no analog port no uh, network which coincidentally is the same case as the MacBooks. Uh, there is no HDMI, which is absolutely inexcusable. And uh, uh, in terms of expandability, I'm not exactly sure how it looks inside now. This one, I could uh, put a new SSD, I could put uh, memory in. Some of the new ones I'm not so sure about, I would have to check. Okay. Cool, and now we are going to move to your favorite laptops. Yes. And actually, mine as well because i have quite a few of them okay so so basically let let me narrate this this uh, is 2011 so 12 years old laptop it has basically every uh, every imaginable port on it including and device yes display port including vga including uh optical drive including ethernet including uh, eSATA, eSATA, including basically uh, I firewire firewire Island, optical optical yes address. So uh, PC card as well, uh, Express card is there as well. Analog uh, port for the speakers uh, and, for the, the and, and the analog modem and modem, yeah. Yes, good. because this was this is also popular, and this wasn't as big. And the other thing that I like like about this model is that uh, the T four twenty four hour. Yes, it is T T four T four twenty four twenty four twenty yes four twenty. Uh, you can buy it uh, still on the eBay. It's cheap. It is uh you can still expand it because there are avail uh, parts available yes and one of the one of the things that i like the most is that uh, the way it is being cooled uh it oh, has yes. a, it has a huge output port for the uh, for the fans so it doesn't get as hot as uh, some other laptops mm -hmm. because it has space on the side 
Mm-hmm. It's not uh, depend only dependent on the on the uh, grills that are uh, on the other side of the laptop. And it also has a design cue that you like as well, which is ports on the back. Yes, and the power other th- and modem and, and modem. Okay, okay, and the uh, 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 exchangeable uh, battery. But also, you can on this uh, series of laptops, you can take out the um, uh, optical drive. Yeah, and, and exchange and, it. With and change the, it with the SSD. Yeah, I know. I used to use that a lot. Uh, also, uh, one of the things that I really appreciate, a complete professional, uh, let's say, admiration for Lenovo's, almost all of them, and when I say almost all of them, I mean, I mean the vast majority uh, of these laptops, and even uh, so today, are something that you can put on Lenovo docks. Yes. Yes, I like yes, it a lot, yes. especially on some of the, let's say, a little bit newer generations where you have stuff like, I don't know, free display port ports on, on, on the docking station, which is incredible. And I would just call also uh, the fact that actually uh, not, uh, not all, all things are labeled. So the power connector is not labeled and the switch to turn on and off the Wi-Fi is not labeled mm-hmm. here. Yeah, it's available there. Yes. Okay. Okay. Next, next one, one, 2014 T440. I think that this is the laptop that I like the most. Okay. I have a, I have a couple of those at home mm-hmm. because unfortunately I have six ish, if not more, uh, ThinkPads. Um, some of them are running Windows, some of them are running Linux because mm-hmm. uh, all of them are Linux friendly. Yes. Everything works on Linux in uh, on ThinkPad, so uh, I like this uh, the most. Uh, it has the VGA still because they were expecting it at the time, they were expecting that you are going to be uh, using the VGA for the projectors. 2013, 10 years ago, of course. Yes, so projectors were uh, analog the uh, back then, but they also had mini display port. So it, yes. was trying, it was trying to connect to the newer uh, monitors by using display port. The, the adapter itself, okay, you need an adapter, but that's okay. That works really well, I have uh, those. Uh, okay, two USB 3 ports. That's the only thing that I find yes. a little bit lacking. I like Ethernet port a lot. Yes, Ethernet port is there and... Uh, PCMCA uh, I think is here as well. Yes, uh, and the other thing is that uh, the connector for the power, I don't like power connectors usually, but uh, this one is sturdy. This one is actually sturdy. I don't see uh, how you could break it without actually physically breaking the laptop itself. Do you know, uh, the one thing that I dislike about Lenovo laptops while, while we're at it, I don't know the exact number, but they used to have something like three different power adapters in terms of wattage. Yes, which is I, I, I think it's four. Okay, let's let's say four. Yes, yes you know what, what we're going to say. Uh, for me, I think they should just consolidate one. Because the, 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 the top level one, 130 watts, whatever it is, yes. it can happily run everything else. Yes, and this is the reason why I have it in my uh, backpack, because I don't know which laptop I'm going to take uh, with me. Mm-hmm. And I want to be able to uh, run the laptop uh, on on external power. Of course. And if I take the any of the smaller adapters, and if I take the big laptop with me, b- big being uh, P50, uh, yes. <laughs> don't hit the table. <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, b- uh, b- the big one being P50, mm-hmm. uh, I you can power any of them. Yes, but if I take the big laptop and a smaller adapter, it's going to tell me uh, I'm that, lacking uh, power. I'm lacking power, and I need to uh, either run or uh, refresh the batteries. So I would argue that the only thing that's missing here is at least one more USB port, and I would be very happy with, them with this laptop. Okay, okay. Do continue. Next one is the 460. This is 2016. Now we are moving towards a little bit more, let's say, modern design, which is easily noticeable. Yes, they, they have put uh, another another USB port. They lost the VGA. They have a connector for the on the side. On which the side, I really the dislike. Okay, but um, yes, but it's on the side on the t- upper upper left portion of the laptop. It's okay-ish. I'm not happy with it, but uh, when it has to be on the side, this is the right uh, place to put it. I would like then, uh, uh, that's my second, let's say, or 1B complaint about these laptops. If you have it on the side, I would like to have an angled connector. Yes, yes. Which is much nicer to look at then, and also much more feasible in terms of your ergonomics. Okay. uh, Everything else, no complaints for me. uh, Yes, it's lacking, it's lacking optical drive. But that's normal. Nowadays. Yes, it has a normal HDMI. Uh, 
I like that. And uh, display it, port as well. And it has a huge uh, cooling port uh, on the side also. Yeah, good design. This yes. is hard, but this is very usable. And it has a, it has a pretty decent keyboard uh, compared to the size of the laptop itself. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is that if I'm comp not uh, sure, uh, not uh, mistaken. mistaken, I think that this one is also able to uh, uh, open the screen all the way up. So I, I uh, the I, I think that there was like a three in one version. Yes, yes, well. yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, so that's T four sixty. Okay, now we move to the latest three generations. Okay, okay. which is 2020, 21 and twenty two. Okay, I I like the idea that uh, uh, ThinkPad is sticking with the Ethernet port uh, all the way through. Uh, and this is one of the things that I like. I dislike the way in which is executed because you have to pull down the handle to open it. But uh, yes, I really. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, that's here. No, no, some it's of the, from, some yes. of the ThinkPads have that, and yes, HP is in HP is that's much yes. more common. Sorry, my mistake. Oh, USB, that's good. One smart card reader, that's yes. excellent. So gigabit Ethernet, that's good. Uh, this is the USB C uh, power input. So this is a power delivery type of idea. And it's also, I think these both, or, or maybe in the next version, both of them are also Thunderbolt. In this version, it isn't. The seven is uh, a network extension for Ethernet side mechanical docking. So uh, um, they don't have docking on the yes. part anymore. That's also okay. USB, HDMI, uh, the headphone port, and this is micro SD card reader. So this is a, for me, really good laptop. Yes, no, this, no the, the, this uh, nice balance of uh, connectivity and everything else that you need. Yeah, and uh, it kind of includes the topic that we have to uh, go back to. I mentioned it when we were discussing Apple. Uh, we are finally seeing some laptops with uh, Thunderbolt. Yes. Dell has them as well, but it doesn't have them with the correct mixture of ports. Okay, and the other thing that I must say that is I didn't look all the other laptops that I was using, but what I like about this one is that it has uh, always on port. Yes, you it has can, power you can, delivery yes, constant. Yeah. You can use it to power up your fo uh, phone. The previous version has it as well. It's here. Yes, yes. This is one of the things. This is one of the things that uh, I uh, am lacking on a lot of the laptops because correct. Sometimes I want to use the big battery in the laptop to uh, in order to charge my battery. phone because it's it's small battery. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Okay. So that's uh, T14 Gen One. This okay. is the Gen Two. Okay. Basically the same thing. Yes. So, but now you have, this is what I was talking about. So it's power delivery, Thunderbolt and Thunderbolt. So it's two Thunderbolts now. Yes. And uh, there is a, there is a dock. If I, if I'm correct, there is a dock that actually covers both of those. And then it provides you with additional Thunderbolt ports and everything else. Correct. Yes. There, there are the, those for MacBook as well. I have yes. one of them, which yes. is okay. really usable. And actually coincidentally, that one has, so you use both of the Thunderbolt ports. On the other side of it, two Thunderbolt ports, HDMI and USB and something else. And SD card reader as well. So okay. that's the way in which you run the MacBooks nowadays, I'm afraid. Uh, the smart card reader is something that uh, I don't think that, no, 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 not the micro SD, but uh, the smart card, the mm -hmm, number the eight. The big one, okay. Uh, this is something that is useful if you are in the enterprise market. It's not the first laptop where we have it. We have it here yes, as well. Yes, we yes, have yes, it here yes, as well yes, no, but and uh, here. I, I, I think that that's perfect in going with the times if you consider this a business laptop. Yes, but it, it is useful right now when you have the actual uh, cards that are able to uh, be used as a smart cards. So VPN, uh, e-banking, uh, whatnot. E-banking or uh, I mean, uh, identity cards in our uh, particular country. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Very, very nice, clean design. Uh, I don't like the fact that this is opened here and then Thunderbolt inside. It's probably going to break a little bit more, but overall, in terms of the balance of the ports, nothing to add. Yes. Really good. And the latest generation of that is just more of the same thing. With one other thing, uh, one, uh, some of the models have the capability to run SIM cards, but I, I, I know that there are older versions as well, I which have the capability to do it, but you can see that they redesigned the Thunderbolt part. Yes which I think is a good, a smart move. The, the, the thing number three, they included also the Kensington. You still have the, uh, the, the card reader, USB, USB. So two USBs, two Thunderbolts, HDMI, and uh, analog for the headphones. Again, very good balance supports. I would just say that- uh, from And uh, always on, of course. But you uh, were uh, the only, uh, all the screenshots that you got, uh, got here were, are from the T-Series. I would say that P-Series is right now uh, 
the most value for money that you can get from the old laptop. Agreed. Because the uh, the one of the differences that we need to point out is that uh, older Apple's uh, laptops, um, the price is not going down uh, mm-hmm. uh, linearly uh, with age. So actually, the price of the older uh, Apple laptops is much higher than the older uh, ThinkPads. Correct. And I think that play by play, these are better laptops when they're old. They are, and they are way cheaper. They are way cheaper. You can buy laptops for three, four hundred euros, dollars. Three, four hundred euros. Or let's let's call it. You can buy a laptop that used to be three and a half thousand dollars. You can buy it for seven hundred euros right now. Like P fifty or fifty one. P fifty one, and then you are able to expand it using three uh, discs. Mm-hmm. So uh, actually, uh, two uh, NVMe's, uh, one uh, one SAT, one uh, combined uh, port. Yes, one, one combined port. You can also on some of the models you can exchange the optics for another disc yes you can have a, a large battery you can have the 4G, you, some of them have two batteries as yes well. you can have the 4g or 5g modem in, inside mm-hmm. it all of them have the all the p models have the uh, pre- uh, prepared pre-prepared uh, readers for the sim cards mm-hmm. so they're they're under the battery but you can get the modem in and then yeah, just it's, connect it's easy to put it in yes, yes so and uh when you want something there is a second hand uh, market for all the parts that are cheap oh yes yes so if you need the frame both of us really appreciate that yes that's why we have them the reason why i'm not changing my uh, screen is that my screen uh, is broken in such a way that it doesn't bother me it's just a it's cosmetical thing here and it would be pointless you would be much be much better off to buy just another one yes and the price of the price of the laptop itself was something like 300 euros yes so this is the first generation yoga uh, x1 and uh the thing that i can do with this laptop is that i can actually uh, turn it into a tablet i'm not going to mm-hmm. but uh i can turn it into the lap- a tablet it's not as quick as i would like it to be yeah, it's a bit but, old. But uh, it's, what, six or seven years old. But it's an i7 with 16 gigs of RAM. So it's a pretty decent laptop, much, much better than I would uh, get for the same amount of money for any tablet on the market, any other laptop, uh, laptop on the market. So from my point of view, buying a new laptop, unless you are buying something specific, doesn't make any sense anymore. This is an extension of an episode that we did. Yes month and a half ago about the but please do continue I'm, I'm waiting for one slide yeah i know uh, i just want to conclude something before we go to your favorite thing that you want to yes. discuss i'm sure uh, so a couple of things that overall so now c- combining all of the stuff that we just discussed really bother me if a laptop doesn't have hdmi port it's useless if a laptop doesn't have uh, enough usb ports it's useless it would be much better if laptop industry went back to some kind of expandability via a concept like Express Card, whatever it may be called. I really like laptops w- uh, which have the capability to be upgraded in terms of memory. And the only thing that I could excuse is Mac design nowadays because it's integrated. Yes, memory, because, so I can but excuse it, that. It's in a harder design, so yes. it's, it's so a harder no limitation. Yes. yes, it's not a limitation. It's a, it's a good design. But, but it's a harder limitation uh, in terms of availability. Yeah. Yeah, but, but the idea is that uh, there is a specific reason and it's a good reason. Yes, it's but, a correct design. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So I don't like that. I don't like laptops that have uh, the soldered on NVMEs, i.e. Apples. Okay. That's that's completely stupid, if you ask me. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, modern day laptops don't have some of the older ports. I can understand that. I can buy, buy adapters. That's good. I see absolutely no reason to have any kind of display port, mini or the uh, or the full size one on a laptop, because as you said, everything has HDMI nowadays. So the display port is just a waste of space and for the life of me i cannot believe that there are laptops without headphone uh, outputs and or card readers let me add usb to this okay you need at least one usb port i i, I think two and i think all laptops should have thunderbolt as standard from now on yeah, yes but the uh, usb c uh, makes it possible to uh, stick uh, the normal connector the usb c connector on any laptop mm-hmm. so there is no uh, longer the excuse that the connector itself is too big mm-hmm. so you can actually use the usb c connector and there is no excuse for not having a usb port on the laptop correct because you need it 
Okay. okay, now for the next one. And now for your favorite design. I know that you want to talk about this a lot. Yes. Um, so this is. Do the you want me to open the web page? Web page? No, 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 no. I'm going to. I'm going to with this, uh, and I'm going to say this one is called Pocket Three. Uh, I only uh, saw it or learned about it in the last couple of days, because no, you didn't. You noticed this when we were preparing for the uh, last episode, which was two weeks ago. Okay, but and anyways, yeah. I, w I was I was doing a little research. This one has one of the things that is extremely helpful for in guys a, like in us. a specific in a specific environment, and by specific envi environment I mean uh, when you are dealing with servers. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, when you are in the data center, when you need to connect to a server because the server is malfunctioning for some reason or the other, and mm -hmm. you want to see what is happening uh, inside, there is only one thing you can do. Either, uh, okay, there are two things you can do, but one thing that you can actually do, if you are in the data center, you need to connect the monitor, you need, you need to connect the keyboard, keyboard and mouse. This one has a module so hint, hint, it's a module uh, that can be either this one or it can be a USB or it can be uh, just a VGA. Mm -hmm. So it has a module that is able to um, uh, be used as a KVM. So okay. it, it can connect directly to the server. It can display the VGA uh, signal from the server. So it can basically use the, like VGA in or something. Yeah, so the VGA, uh, it, uh, uh, VGA in inside the, uh, uh, there is a, con uh, there is a, uh, on the other side, uh, it's a VGA. Uh -huh, okay. And USB-C. So, yes. It's a specific thing because it is trying to be uh, USB and VGA. So keyboard, mouse and monitor at the same time. And I don't know of any laptop right now on the market that is able to do this. You, you know what I want to have on this laptop? What? Just one more thing. Which? Very old. Which one? Very, very old port. Uh, RS-233? Yes, I, I need uh, I need a serial port on this laptop. Yes, that, there, is that, a, there is a module for this. There is? Yes. I'm, this buy, is the third, I'm buying it. This is the third module. The, there is a module for USB, uh, RS-232 uh, and uh, KVM module. I'm buying it times two and I'm treat, <laughs> treating you with one because okay. I know you want it. And uh, the other thing is that it has a connection, a normal connection to the Ethernet. L and Like very much. Yes, and it is able to be used as in, in tablet mode. Uh, so this is basically everything combined the only thing that is right now pretty scary for me is the usage of the uh comic sans uh, in the lettering <laughs> so <laughs> it, it it makes me distrust the company a bit what's the name of the company three letters something if i remember correctly you go let, on, let, 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 let's I'm check find it. let's check but uh what i want to say is that this laptop is gpd G gpd yes so uh, actually modular pc uh from china but I must say that almost everything that we buy from China is uh, China. Okay. So, so saying that some companies from China and not trusting it is not something that I'm uh, inclined to do because sometimes uh, I'm willing to go over a little bit of uh, problem with a little bit of problems because it's going to have some problems with uh, the execution of the laptop itself. But uh, this one looks like something that is unique. I like it very much. KVM, KVM and uh, serial port uh, uh, support is something that actually makes sense in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. especially in the DevOps market. Okay, and because for if IT you, guys. Because if you are working uh, in DevOps, if you are in the data center, you need a serial port. Yes. Both of you, uh, both of us have a USB to serial conne uh, connector and console connectors for the switches and everything else. Yeah. Uh, you need uh, to use the something as a monitor. Correct. And you need to use something as a keyboard. You're yeah. always missing a keyboard. Yes. And I have a few keyboards that are uh, USB keyboards uh, based on the Bluetooth just because I want to have a keyboard with me anyways, even if I don't have a monitor. Most of the data centers are going to provide me with the monitor, but I'm going to have to look for the keyboard. Okay. Very happy with this as well. So let's uh, wrap this up. Uh, I'm but but why, why it took them 23 years to uh, realize that we need a KVM on the laptop? I have no idea. And why is there no KVM available as a USB or Thunderbolt or any other connector? I don't know. I, I haven't checked, but maybe and we I, should. I was, trying, I was trying for the last uh, 72 hours, let's call it the last three days, but 72 hours to find the KVM connector. I have absolutely no idea why there, there isn't such a thing. Only on this laptop. Okay. So I'm going to conclude from my side. You can add whatever you think I, I missed. We like HDMI on laptops. We would like to have battery indicators. We do like replaceable batteries. 
We dislike laptops without at least two USB ports. We want to have headphone connectors on laptops, definitely. We would really like to have some expendability for stuff like this, which might be unique, but some kind of a, let's say, modular design, uh, uh, aka uh, framework that we discussed uh, yes. a couple of weeks ago. That's one, one way of, of approaching the topic. We like uh, laptops with good keyboards. We absolutely think that they should have card readers. We think that all laptops and uh, in, in like in very quick successions should have a Thunderbolt connectivity. We like USB power delivery. We like USB regular ports, which have power as well for phones or whatever. Am I missing something? We, we don't want DisplayPort on laptops? I would, I, w I would call it that I like USB power delivery, the idea, but I would like to have a... Single standard, I think. I would like to have a Mac connector or something. Because... Uh, You're be onto something, yeah. Because I, like because I think that uh, even we're trying to standardize everything and trying to create an environment when you have a single, a single connector connected to the laptop and have the power delivery through the monitor and so on and so on, you still are going to be much better off if you have a Mac connector on your laptop. Agreed. Because uh, if you are not uh, at your own uh, home, if you're not uh, sitting at your own workplace, you need the connector that is not easily breakable. Yeah. Uh, I just want to add one more thing. Uh, for all the laptop uh, manufacturers, we really dislike being your gadget dudes, and we really dislike buying hundreds of cables which cost a gazillion bucks. Okay, and we are looking at the fruity company because they are the ones who are the worst offenders with uh, adapters, everything to everything, not compatible with everything else. And thank you for the Apple uh, Thunderbolt Pro cable. Yes, because it's, it's it, it costs a gazillion uh, gazillion money. Uh, money is because basically, if you want a good cable that is uh, Thunderbolt ca uh, capable, you need to buy a cable that is. Pricey, brand, pricey pricier and, this, and branded, the, the, yeah, yes, than the laptop. Yeah. And then the laptop. Yeah, uh, uh, the only ex, uh, the only uh, other available option would be optical Thunderbolt, and that's three times more expensive. Yes, and we have come to a point where uh, actually uh, it comes a time when we are going to switch over to enterprise level hardware mm -hmm. to avoid uh, buying uh, consumer grade uh, adapters. I agree. We're going to switch over to 10G uh, networks mm -hmm. because we are going to try to avoid uh, using the Thunderbolt cables for 300 or 400 mm -hmm. euros. Yeah, I agree. Okay. okay, that's been that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next episode. We'll see you. See you. Bye.